here. In our triangle, if square of the one side is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle. This is this is inverse of Pythagoras theorem. Clearly, in this particular question, it is given that let ABC be a triangle in which let's draw ABC a triangle first. ABC is a triangle. Let me draw ABC first. In which the square of the one side, in which the square of the one side given ABC be a triangle. in which square of the one side AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Proof. We need to prove that. It's given that the side and the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle triangle. We need to prove that angle B is equal to 90 degree. Or triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. right angled triangle right angled at B to prove this we need to construct For proving the theorem, we need to construct a right, another triangle. Let us construct another right angle triangle, PQR. Let us construct another right angle triangle, PQR. Mark it PQR. Let us construct a right angle triangle, PQR. PQR. Let us construct a right angle triangle PQR. It is right angled at Q. It is right angled at Q. Construction. Construction is a tool which is helpful in proving the theorem. Construction. Let's write a construction for it. Constru Draw a right angle triangle. Draw a right angle triangle. Draw a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle. angle triangle PQR right angled at right angled at Q such that such that such that
such that you know PQ is equal to AB and QR is equal to BC. That is, we construct a right angle triangle P Q R such that this PQ is equal to AB and this QR is equal to BC. Proof. After writing given to prove construction, we need to write proof. In right triangle PQR, right triangle PQR, we can use Pythagoras theorem. Right angled RT for right, right angled at Q. That means when it is right angle at Q, the square of the hypotenuse. That is, PR is a hypotenuse. We can write like this. PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. This is number first. This is by Pythagoras theorem. We can write by Pythagoras theorem. Theorem. This is by Pythagoras theorem. Further, we can see here PQ in construction we have taken equal to AB. At the base of PQ, we can place AB. So it is AB square. At the place of QR, we can place BC because we have taken this in construction. So PR square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Clear? This is a number two. But we have given something in at the beginning in the statement. The square of the one side in the beginning, it is given that the sum of the squares in the beginning, it is given that sum of the squares of the two side is equal to the third side. Because in the beginning it is given that the square of the one side is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. As a result, we have given that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. We can assume this is number third. We can write here given. Now, what do you see, students, here? This is PR square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Therefore, from second and third, from second and third, what do we see here? We can see here that PR square is absolutely equal to AC square. Or we can write PR is equal to AC. We mark this number four. Now, what do we see? We see, therefore, 
here i am writing here therefore therefore from construction from construction from construction and fourth the two triangles become congruent you know pr is equal to ac in the construction we have taken pq is equal to ab in the construction we have taken qr is equal to bc pr is equal to ac is obtained what do you observe oh you observed a congruence rule that is the triangle pqr is absolutely congruent to triangle abc by ss ss s congruency rule that is triangle pqr is absolutely congruent to triangle abc as pq was equal to ab qr is equal to bc by construction and we proved pr is equal to ac we can straight forwardly write here triangle pqr pqr is congruent to triangle abc by sss by s s s congruence rule congruence rule when two triangles are congruent remember the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles are always equal as a result we can write here angle q is equal to angle b since b since q was since q was equal to 90 therefore we can write therefore we can write angle b is equal to 90 degree we can do this step again triangle pqr here we see that triangle pqr become congruent to triangle abc by sss congruence rule by sss congruence rule congruence rule therefore angle q is equal to angle b this is by cpct cpct that means the congruent corresponding parts of the congruent triangles are always equal as a result as angle q is equal to 90 therefore angle b becomes equal to 90 degree hence proved